Blake Adams and the Chargers fought their way through the first two opponents, but knew they would have to be on point versus the 2A number 5 Davis Wolves. And Billy Ross wasted no time slicing through the Wolves' defense on the game's first play from scrimmage scoring from 66 yards out to give the Hall a 7-0 lead. The Charger defense was up for the challenge as well, breaking the vaunted Davis wishbone on plays like this. Blake Adams tackled to set the tone and force the Wolves to punt. Billy Ross fielded an impressive 50-yard punt and after Philip Smither picked off the lead tackler, he scampered down the sideline to give the Charger offense good field position. Senior tailback Morgan Dinwiddie stepped in for Ross and on 4th and 1 showed off his own burst of speed as he slashed his way to a 43-yard touchdown run and a 14-0 Charger lead. After the Charger defense held again, Adams connected with Carson Norton on this rollout, and the big tight end showed him why some call him the athlete, carving up the Wolves D and rumbling to the edge of the red zone. On the ensuing play, Ross would follow lead blocks from Luke Williams and Jaden McDaniel before squeezing between two defenders to put the hole up 21-0 midway through the first. The defense continued to dominate. Connor Keith applied the pressure and Preston Taylor picked off the out route dashing 56 yards to the house, but the pick six would be called back for an illegal block on the return. Into the second quarter, Ross continued to dance and find daylight as he exploded for a 32-yard touchdown and a commanding 28-0 heritage lead. Desperate to keep up, the Wolves turned a trickery midway through the second, scoring on this halfback pass. And resorted to an onside kick that was perfectly placed and recovered by Davis to provide a glimmer of hope. But the Charger D dashed those hopes. Adams found Preston Taylor on the slant and, a, and the senior receiver busted his way down to the 35-yard line with two minutes and a half. A couple of plays later, the duo connected on a post route to give the hole a 35-6 lead at the half. As the Davis band took the field for a halftime performance, the Wolves hoped to conduct a comeback in the second half. But midway through the third, Adams and Orton would connect on an 8-yard pass to stretch the Charger lead to 42-6. Wolves would add two touchdowns, but it was too little too late. Heritage Hall moved to 3-0 with the 42-19 victory, ringing the Eddie Bell and turning their attention to a district showdown with Clinton in Week 4.